Callie is going to give, be given four minutes to try to do four things. After the four minutes is up, we're going to do, we're going to figure out which one of the puzzles she has the most difficulty with. And I'm going to ask her to use her savvy. I'm going to ask her to use her wherewithal and figure out how to do this. We want confidence first, curiosity, we want sensitivity. So here's the deal, Callie. What you're going to do, step one, you're going to ask her to stand on the tarp for seven seconds, okay? Then you're going to ask her to go through that curtain, okay? But you have to stand over here out of, in the, I'm going to draw a line for you here. You have to stay on this side of the line. Just move Van out there for me a little bit. You have to stand on this side of that line, okay? All right? Then you're going to ask her to put her right front foot only on, the, on that. Now, let me ask you, will she go stand on, on that over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So she'll put her front feet on it, because you've done that before, but you're only going to put the right front foot on. Yeah. It's got to stay there seven seconds. Then you're going to get on the pedestal, ask her to get off and put her left hind foot on that orange dot. You got four minutes to do four things. One, two, three, four. Okay? On your marks, get set, go with savvy.
Four minutes are up. Let's give her a hand. Very nice job. Very good. Knowing when to be, where to be, why to be, and what to, what to do when you're getting there is a real secret. So here's one of the things. First of all, does Callie look like she knows how to do Pirelli natural horsemanship? Huh? Yeah, you don't know. All right. So a couple of things that I'd like to do is, first of all, you had no trouble with the tarp. So let's, we won't even work on that. That's boom, boom. That's a done deal. Second of all, what I'd like to do is I want to give Callie some tips because oftentimes we're so busy trying to do things, get ready for the show, going here, going there, that I don't really get to work with Callie on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time. And my goal here, because how many people have ever heard Pirelli natural horsemanship takes too long? You've heard that before? I've heard people say that. Well, that stuff takes too long too long. So what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to spend a short period of time seeing if we can get some little bit of improvement. Now, Callie, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to come stand on this dot, okay? And I want you to stand on that and get her to try to put her right front foot on that again, okay? And I'm going to see if I can show Callie something. Because sometimes the horse put a right front foot up there, and other times the left foot. So what we want to do is we want to understand how horses are like computers. They may never do what we want, but they may always do what we tell them. Okay? Very good. Now, how, do we, how are we going to get the horse to differentiate between the right and the left foot? Okay? Now, here's what I would do, Callie. I would do something like this. To get her to know the difference. There we go. I'm going to get her to back up, move her hindquarters over, and now watch this, folks. Let's see if this works out. If I can get the message to the feet, in order to get the message to the right front foot, I have to time it, and I have to load the weight onto the left front foot. So what if, what if I do this? What if I take this and pull it down and over, and now? do that. You see how I did that? I took that weight and I said, put your weight on that foot there. Down. Oops. And let me get it back over there just a little bitty bit. Because what I want you to do is not ever to turn anything that I show you into what we call a trick. Let's take the weight down, over. Oops. And now down and over. Redirect that foot. Now down, over, and up. The stick is going to push Ooh, missed. But if we can get this, and the secret is, you want to do something until it becomes a positive reflex. Now, today you saw Magic get on there. That was a positive reflex. She just kind of looked around and said, the pedestal? I went, and I gave her, and I gave her some slack. So now watch. I'm relaxed. Now I'm paying attention. See that difference? Down, over, and oh. That was relay in the timing. I quit on that right front foot. Relax. I want her to know that I'm thinking about a specific foot. In order to do that, we have to get her mind, her weight, her flexion rather than her weight than her feet. Okay. So the mind. Here's the mind. Mind. Hello. Oop. No. 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 Oop. See, it went mind feet. I want mind. Yes, I'm paying it. I'm asking. Get your weight. Come down here. And now, oh, ah. <laughs> okay. So what happens is, as we go along, a little farther along, and Tom Dorrance and Ronnie Willis and some of those guys, they would watch me doing something. And instead of me going mind, flexion, weight, feet, preparing everything to a position to make the transition, I just say, get on the pedestal. And they'd already given me the puzzle to put the left foot on or the right foot on, okay? So let's see, Callie, let's see you give it a shot. And you may have to actually lean down at first. And what we want to do is you want to have a, for a while, you want to work with put the foot, the right foot on every time. Then the left foot on. And so every, and then it becomes a language. Put your weight on your, put that foot, so you put that foot up. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay. Now, let's work on the, 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 the next thing, right? Now, 
let's do something here and let's 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 go to this other thing here and let's throw the frisbee out and and play hunt the frisbee all right so what if we could do something like this and get her to and one of the things that horses are very good at is be their perceptive to danger people places changes and things aha uh -huh. we got her mind on the the dot all right so what i might do at first is make sure i got her mind on the dot okay any foot at first now we gave Callie the specific foot now what we're trying to do is set up a how would you get this all right so the next thing i would do good is i would walk around like this and we did this very similarly with the other horse that i played with today mind you know go put your nose on something do this do that do the other thing so we're going along here and now start thinking what i'm looking for her to do is for her to put her energy now she did it real well with the pedestal <laughs> okay and then just do this <laughs> now Callie, how, how often have i played with this horse not very <laughs> <laughs> so what i want you to do is again is to think is, is to not think about oh well pat knows that horse or these kind of things even though it's my horse Callie is the one who plays with it all the time. So what I'm going to try to do is give Callie a little lesson on how to get what we call positive reflexes, okay? Now, there's an old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But if you're smart enough, you cause him to be thirsty before you make the bet, <laughs> right? Watch this. So instead of leading her to the pedestal, I lead her away from the pedestal and drive her to the thing. Here we go. Let's see. Leave her alone, a little bit of communication, and and you're getting colder, you're getting colder, you're getting warmer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give her a hand, okay? What I used to do at my clinics is I used to put on uh, uh, potluck lunches and that would take paper plates afterwards and I would throw them all around the arena. Of course, all the people that owned the arena would go, that you're messing my arena up. And I would have everybody go around and ride the horses and step on the paper plates. After you do it about five or six times, the horses, the horses start looking for them because you got to struggle and, t and when they realize that it's all over with, that a girl. That's it. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. That's good enough. That's just, in her mind, she did it. All right? Okay, now, this time, Callie, what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to swing it. You're going to swing the hindquarters kind of like this. You're going to do the same thing. Lead her away. Now, I need you to come over here just a little bit, Callie, and watch this. We're going to play hide your hiney. We're going to come over here, play hide your hiney by leaning down and kind of a sidewaysy thing. Now look at her, she's looking at the dot. We want her thinking down to her feet. And, ooh, she stepped over it. And see all this stuff that she's going, but I don't want, I don't like it when. <laughs> Come give it a shot. My mom used to say that my son, Pat Pirelli, could have fun by himself with just a mud puddle and a pickle. <laughs> Go ahead, Callie, give it a shot. Lead her away, lead. Don't, don't, don't ever drive him away. Don't drive them away, lead them away, drive them to it. It's the opposite of what everybody else does. Look at, we got a tarp, a dot, a curtain, just a handful of things and you can start having fun. Hindquarters, hindquarters, keep that look on your face. Now smile, now smile, smile. Oh man, she smiled just a half a second too late. 
Because when you're driving, you got this look on your face. Okay, so get that look. No smiling. Get the hindquarters. More. Now this side. Get quick. Got to be quicker on this side. Quicker. And smile. Now lean, come like this, just a little forward. Only talk to her hind feet. Only talk to her hind feet. Hind feet. Hind feet. Go backwards a little bit, Callie. So she's thinking, hind feet. Get that look, concentrate look on your face. So she wants you to smile when she's done good. Smile. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Can you see how... If, you, if you're particular about something, then your horse starts thinking about it. It doesn't have time to get all bothered. Horses do not respond to punishment. Punishment does not work for prey animals. It says in the Horseman's Bible, idle hooves is the devil's workshop. Let's give Callie another big hand. I thought she did a great job there. Okay, Callie. Here we go. You go stand on, the, on this, get her to put her right front foot on that. Ready? Go. Set it up, set it up. Push her, push her. And consistency is a great thing. Right, no, easy now to put the weight and the timing of the feet. No! The weight and the timing. Lean down and over and push her foot up there, down and over and... That's it. There. What do you guys think about the Pirelli puzzles, huh? Let's give Callie a big hand. <laughs> okay, Callie, we got just enough time for one more thing. And come on over here. And what she's going to do is do this. We're going to set this all up, send her through the hole, and back out. Okay, right now, driver now. We got just a couple of minutes left. Driver through, sender. Okay, now, that's good. Bring her back through. Get a hold of that, a little bit of feel. And then, that's it. I'm gonna close it up for you. What we're gonna do is we're gonna teach our horses to trust us. Okay, send her through. One time I was doing a thing for uh, movie land in Australia and they, they wanted a ho me to teach a horse nose neck now I'll ask a little bit maybe the feet that's it back through okay you can you can put your stick on this side if you like that's it bring her through and they asked me to teach a horse to go through swinging doors in a bar room and this is what I did is I taught I just taught the horse Nose, pull up, give it, give it a little pull. Now, you're, now your pull is coming from the wrong place. The pull's got to come from here. Okay. There we go. So let's just try it here. Even if you do it here. Nose, neck, maybe the feet. All right. Now let's try it one more time. See if we can nail this thing here. And here we go. We're back to the, to the thing. All right. Send her there and be determined. Send her, send her, so she knows. No, you need a little bit more momentum. Just try it like this. Just a little bit more. She knows it's possible now. Give her just a little bit more. Don't want her getting sideways. <laughs> Let's give Callie and Vanna a big hand, would you? The Pirelli Puzzles. Good job. <laughs> Probably uh, the most significant thing I walked out of there with was the importance of developing the intricate communication that is required when you do those refined things like putting a foot here or putting a foot there. And I let her know that, it's, it, that it is important and I think that's going to really help us to become better horsemen, she and, and myself together. <laughs>